Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can integrate EasyDSS with MMO Starter Kit V2. Well, EasyDSS is a special, special version of DSS that is meant to be used with the uh, uh, kits on the marketplace. I will start by integrating it with MMO Kit, and now I'm collaborating with plenty of people out there to integrate it with their um, MMO kits on the marketplace. Just to give you an idea about DSS, DSS is a plugin that helps you to have multiple levels inside your MMO project or split the same level into two, three or four parts that will allow you to have, to have more players inside the same level. Also that allows you to load balance your player assuming that you have 200 players that are supposed to be inside the same level. There's gonna be multiple instances of the same level that is hosting the players and scaling uh, scaling horizontally also it allows you to have the uh, dungeon instantiation feature for parties so uh, let's say eight players are supposed to enter a certain dungeon you can create an instance for those eight players okay so uh, first of all to get started we have to start with a fresh mmo kit uh, project the only thing that i have done is that i have followed uh, the section that is called uh, building a deployable dedicated server and client so I've converted the project to C++ and I have built it for the first time so that it's not gonna take forever during this video so uh, the first well in order to integrate this uh, DSS is DSS with MMO kit there is some very simple steps like basically eight steps you have to follow without even writing any code or writing any blueprint. The first thing that you need to do is to extract the plugin inside uh, your project. So it should be installed at the project level. In your case, if you have already installed it from the marketplace, you just need to copy it from your engine to your project plugins folder, followed by opening the project, obviously. So, um, Depends on your computer performance, it might take some time here to open the project. Perfect. So now the first step is ready. Let's move to the next step. But before, let's double check that our plugin is enabled. So for that, we have to go to Edit, Plugins, Other, and then just make sure that the tick here is enabled. In case it is not ticked, so you just need to tick it and you need to restart um, the editor. Next step is to add the uh, levels to be uh, packaged. So since we are gonna use multiple levels, we have to make sure that um, all the levels are gonna be packaged with our client and server. For that, we have to go to project settings and then packaging. Under packaging, just uh, make sure to extend advanced and then look for uh, a list of maps to include in a packaged build. So here we have to add both of our maps simply. Uh, I'm gonna add one of it, like just for less, add and then uh, choose a file from this computer and basically select your map. Fine, we have to add the basic map and the large map. The second step is ready, let's move on. Now we have to add the interaction uh, component to uh, our player character so that we can interact with um, the portal NPC. We just need to go to MMO kit, MMO logic, blueprint, and then double click on player character. Press on the add on the uh, upper left corner and then search for VPC. It's gonna be VPC portal NPC interaction. This step is done let's move on now we have to make sure that we have the loading screen on almost all of our levels for that we have to go to plugins inside our uh, plugin content we have to go to blueprints and we have to put the loading screen actor on all of our levels just move and put it on the first level then we open the other levels, the basic level. We do the same, the same thing here. Then we open the start map 
and we repeat the same step perfect this step is done now we have to uh, make sure whenever the player disconnects it's gonna save where he was on which map so we have to go to MMO logic blueprints and then search for player uh, VP player controller well uh, before we do this step I'm going to uh, to speak a bit about this plugin so the whole idea about this plugin is that uh, there's gonna be here function libraries for each kit on the marketplace I'm going to talk about uh, at this stage. I'm cooperating with multiple publishers on uh, Unreal Engine Marketplace and I'm going to start slowly integrating uh, their kits. So, as we uh, move on, you are gonna find multiple function libraries for each kit. For MMO kit, there is a function library that is called MMO kit function library. So, basically, you don't need to write any uh, code here. Uh, let's go back to the integration so now we are inside the player controller we said that we need to save uh, the level where the player was whenever it uh, quits the game so just search for save here there is the event for save character double click and then double click on save character go all the way to the end and here we have to search for save level this is a static a uh, blueprint function from our blueprint library copy the json object here and connect it then get a reference to cell and connect it to both target and work so this step is done let's move on now we have to make sure to fetch the level where the player was whenever it quits the game so for that we have to go back to MMO logic and then widgets starter level and then character select all right so if we move to the graph we have to go uh, to double click on get appearance and level from string so here we need to create a new variable that variable should be of a type string and it should be an array let's name this variable level names and here we are going to store all the levels for all the characters on the character select menu menu search for um, load levels All right, obviously we have to connect the level names here. And we have to get the JSON object. Copy paste the same thing and connect it here. Perfect. Now we have to make sure that we are connected to the SS whenever we, we press enter we have to connect to the SS so going back to designer click on enter and then um, on click we don't need we don't really need get IP and port anymore this and this all you can delete it just keep uh, current selected character index and search for connect to the SS well here we have to um, also connect this and get the levels all right let's just talk a bit about connect to the ss well if we double click on it we are gonna see that it's gonna fetch the uh, connection string and all the configurations for the ss easy dss server from a table okay now we are going to connect to localhost and test in localhost so we have selected the localhost but in case you have hosted your game somewhere on the cloud you just need to go to uh, the plugin contents and then go to the blueprint go to the ss configuration and add a new row call it whatever you want like my virtual machine all right so inside you just need to configure two things the connection string and the signing key signing key you copy the same signing key from the app settings 
JSON configuration for EasyDSS. And for the connection string, obviously you are gonna use uh, your public server IP with DSS port. So assuming that we are working on some random IP, I'm gonna put random IP here. It should be your IP actually, your virtual machine IP on the cloud. Nice. And then we add the port where we can where we are gonna find DSS port. It is inside the configuration also. It is inside DSS then port. Now we are ready. Just we need to go back and select the other configuration. If we select this configuration, we are gonna connect to the cloud deployment. If we select this configuration, we are gonna connect to the local host. Now let's stick with the local host. And at this stage, you are ready to start playing. But obviously, we didn't add any level or por level portal or portal and MPC. So I'm gonna cover. This is the last step. I'm gonna cover how to add the portal MPC and how to add the uh, the actual portals. For instance, let's open the large map, and we are gonna add the portal MPC here. The portal MC is going to be found, you can find it under the DSS and then blueprints, portals. Grab it and put it here. First, let's start by selecting the mesh for our character, skeletal mesh. I'm going to select the mannequin. Alright, uh, we can put random animation, like idle animation. Now we have to add uh the levels where we want to travel using this um uh portal so all right we can add as many levels as we want and this is the for portal text so for portal text header um where do you want to go of course you can have your own text all right so we have two levels right now inside this project we have the basic map and the large map now we are inside the uh large map so we want to go to the basic map how we are going to add the configurations simply let's go to the map first of all we have to uh copy the address uh, the the path for the map so just click on it basic map right click and uh copy reference not file path then we go back to our character, uh, MPC character. Level path should be this path. Make sure just to remove uh, the actual level name from the end. And there is this small prefix script slash ancient word. Remove it. Perfect. Now we add the title. That's going to appear on the button where we want to click. It is the basic map. And then we have to add here the map name. The map name is basic map all connected together. Well, now let's go to the basic map and try to add the other kind of portals. Let's add normal portal here. It's going to be pretty much the same. So if you click on this portal, you are going to find that there, there is um, there is the title large map the level path is pretty much the same here and then the level map is large uh, map as far as I can remember let's double check yeah a large map all right perfect that's it. Now um, we can just package our client and server. So we are going just to follow the same tutorial provided in Code Spartan. Go to Windows and we start with the client package project. I'm gonna package package. I'm going to package it to this uh, path. Remember the path. It's gonna take quite a while, depends if you are gonna compile it for the first time or you have already done it and depends on your computer performance actually. Let's repeat the same step for uh, the server. 
we select a market server and package project remember you can add as many portals as you want and as many levels as you want you can add dungeons pretty much the same as we have done with the other version of dss all right now we are ready to test so we close unreal engine so first let's take a look at the uh, configuration for sdss well it's pretty much the same for the ss light uh, you have to include the path for your unreal engine project we have unreal engine uh, server we have packaged it to packaging windows server and then mmo kit binaries windows copy the full path and paste it here then you have to copy the uh, server name and then paste it here perfect i have already added the levels that we have inside our project remember you have to add the full path with the level name and the first one is the default map so whenever you create a new character it's going to be spawned on this uh, map the basic map perfect now let's go to sdss and start the sdss server double click all right you will not start two servers instantiated here one for the basic map and one for the large map we can go right now to our packaging windows client let's open it and see what's gonna happen all right i have already created a new account and i have the persistence server running on the background so just create a new character as always name it the same and now we have to we have we are creating a new character so as far as i can remember it should be spawned on the default map that was the basic level or basic map let's press enter and see what's gonna happen loading screen is working pretty well here we are on the basic map perfect let's go to the large map we just need to touch um, the portal perfect let's try to use the portal mpc just press e to interact and we have one option basic level it is working perfectly well also if you quit if you game and enter again your uh layer position and level is already saved so let's give it a try we quit here we enter again and let's see Perfect. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.